Olga Nazarkina of the Soviet Union in fourth place. And Craig, Craig Mize back this 25 lap, now actually in uh, less than 22 laps to go, uh, is a 10,000, 6.2 miles here on the track. Well, this is a challenging race in any conditions. These are good conditions for the 10,000 meters. And we have an interesting race because the two leading American women in the race, Colette Murphy and Kathy O'Brien, each have great futures in this event. They're both young. They both have good futures, things that will allow them to develop in this event over the years leading up to the 92 Olympics. But keep your eye on Olga Nazarkina from the Soviet Union. Last year, as a 19-year-old, she ran one of the best times in the world. You won't have any problems telling who Silvia Mosqueda of the United States is, 1988 NCAA champion. She has on the stars and stripes <laughs> in her shorts. And she is in first place at the moment. We have a move coming up on the outside. That's 56-1 to Panfil of Poland making a move. Let's have a look at the overall grouping of competitors in the 10,000 meter race. Panfil, as you say, now moving towards the front. She's no more as a marathoner from Poland. You see Colette Murphy. Mosqueda is often a front runner. She has a new coach who's trying to keep her from always taking the lead and pushing it. And Kathy O'Brien, I spoke with her coach earlier today. She has pre prepped for this race all year long. You want to know how serious she was about running in the Goodwill Games? She had a 103 degree fever at the American National Championships where she had to run in order to qualify for this race. She ran anyway and finished second just so that she could come here. This is the pinnacle of her season. Frankly, a weakened field when you talk about the very top 10,000 meter runners around the world. What will that mean to what we might expect here in terms of times? Well, you can only run so many of these a year. I can tell you that Kathy O'Brien's coach, Bob Seventy, said she wants to run something around 32 minutes, which is world class anywhere. She will take the pace and push it if she has to. Yeah, so the yeah. women's 10,000 meters, and we have a change of leaders. Wanda Panfil is in first place now out of Poland. She made a move with a little less than four laps remaining. It's Tosta Gusev of the Soviet Union second, Olga Nazarkina of the Soviet Union third, and Kathy O'Brien of the U.S. is in fourth place. What a bold move for Wanda Panfil. Relatively inexperienced on the track. Her greatest experience has been in marathon running, where she's run 2 minutes 27 227.05 for the marathon, an excellent marathon time, but that bold move, as you said, with just under four laps to go, has opened up a wide lead, and it's going to be tough for them to catch her as they're coming up to one lap to go. Wanda Panfil of Poland. She's 31 years old, 5'5 five, five and a half, 120 pounds. Her personal best is a time of 33.06.31, set back in 1987. In second place is Yelena Kolstogusova of the Soviet Union. I'll tell you, all four of the women up front are probably going to run their personal best or very close to it. Pantel as much as possibly a minute faster, and she comes from a great tradition of distance running on the men's side, of course, in Poland. When we think of Malinowski, the Olympic steeplechase champion, uh, Tony Nimczyk, who's a good marathoner, and uh, also Mamensky, another steeplechaser. So Poland has had great male distance runners. She's the greatest of their female distance runners. Sylvia Muscat of the United States back in fifth place now had led this race most of the way. It's a 25-lap race. You see Wanda Panville of Poland looking behind to check the traffic. She's lapping some of the other runners right now. She goes by Carmen Diaz from Mexico. The exciting race is going to be for third place as Kathy O'Brien is battling it out with Olga Nazarkina. Two young runners, two runners that people speak of as runners of the future, but it's going to be Wanda Panfil heading towards the 32-minute barrier. And a real sprint going on between O'Brien and Narzik Narzakina. And as O'Brien leading out of the front, is she putting on a sprint? O'Brien is going to finish second in the women's 10,000 meters. Runs her best by over 10 seconds. A great win for Wanda Panfil, but a great finish for Kathy O'Brien. The woman who at age 16 finished fifth in the Olympic trials in Olympia, Washington. That was for the 84 Olympics. Now she's 23. She made the Olympic team in 1988. As we see Colette Murphy finishing. She'll be the third American. So it's Wanda Panfil, Kathy O'Brien of the U.S., who just had a spectacular come-from-behind finish. Olga Nazarkina of the Soviet Union was third, and Tolstor Gusova of the Soviet Union finished fourth. And there is Kathy O'Brien. A very, very big step forward with her ever since she ran that great marathon at age 16. People said, well, maybe she's the next Joan Benoit Samuelson. Working with Bob Seventy now, who says she needs to learn to run on the track in order to improve her marathon. He calls her the best-kept secret in track and field. She's a secret no more. Durham, New Hampshire, five foot two. It's like eyes of blue, too. 
Kathy O'Brien finishing second. Wanda Panfil of Poland, the winner in the women's 10,000 meters. Tremendous victory for Panfil, but look at O'Brien. She saved her sprint until the last 150 meters past Tolsta Guseva and then Nazarkina for the second place finish. So that's the story of the women's 10,000 meter race. The winner is Wanda Panfil of Poland. Kathy O'Brien finishes second. Nazarkin of the Soviet Union is third.